decent shooters. There's good horrors for her, good horrors. There's good indies for all of them, but I just generally don't play indie for those as much as I play indie horror. I play a lot of indie horror. Um, <clears throat> I guess the only, I guess the the indie games that aren't horror that I have played, uh, Cophead, which isn't horror, it's a platformer. Um, what's the other one? I don't know. Undertale and Deltarune have both played, um, I realize I gotta play Chapter 2 of Deltarune, I never actually did that, but I gotta do that. Um, those are RPGs, I played those, those are indie. Um, I've played Emily's Away, which is definitely a, I, a game. It's a game, but I don't know what type of game it is, but it is a game. And it is an indie game, but it's a game. Or something. Um, I probably have played others. Uh, I think. Um, there, uh, there was that one bicycle one. Shoot, I, if I remember what that one. That's an indie game. And I did play that one. Though I will say, um, <clears throat> I haven't been doing a lot of, uh, I haven't done a lot of, um, playing a lot of other games on my Switch on my off time. I'm not recording. Or even on my Steam Deck for that matter. I think the only reason is because I've been so focused. Anytime I go on a game, on my Switch, I do shiny hunting because it's it's really easy to do it. Before, I just didn't bother, but now it's super easy to do it, and I feel like I find myself only shiny hunting on this game. Besides actually playing other games, it's kind of just I don't know. And even then, I can take a break from shiny hunting, but I'm taking a break. I'm editing videos. I'm doing stuff with my life that's important. Uh, doing my art and working on my own game, so I just don't have the time I used to, and, or spending time with friends too, okay, it's just, there's a lot going on, and I realize as I get older, it's a bit harder to do this, so that's why I kind of like doing these Let's Plays, because it allows me to sit down and enjoy a game that naturally, like on my own, I wouldn't be able to do as much as I used to. And it's mainly because, like I said, I just don't have the time. And so these Let's Plays give me the time to play a game. Yes, if not for a tiny bit. You know. Enough to just, you know, get it out there. And that's why I do that. I only do one video a day because I realize that I don't have enough time to edit and post three videos a day. It would, because that, that was three times, because I posted nine from Saturday, six days a week, three times six, that is, excuse me, I don't know. Uh, that's 18 videos a day. That's a lot of video, or that's 18 videos a week that I have to edit. Now I only have to edit six. I literally cut it by like by 12 videos, or no, by yeah, like 12 videos. That's the one thing I did like about these newer, these Pokemon games, though, at the very least, is that, that all the trainers do have different unique Pokeballs. They used to just, in the past, they would always be, oh, they got a Pokeball, Pokeball, Pokeball. 
Now in here you see some will have Pokeballs, some will have Ultra, some will have Great Balls, some will have Premier Balls, some will have some will have uh, luxury balls, some will have dive balls, nest balls, safari balls, friendship balls, quick balls, <clears throat> speed balls, repeat balls. It's very interesting and I like that because it makes it more unique. It makes it gives the personality to the characters that you're versing a bit more because it's like, oh, they can they have that. And, you know, their design fits what they have. Instead of it, oh, it's just another Pokemon. It's a generic. But this isn't always the case. This is usually only with unique characters that you run into that have some kind of, like, you know, design. Like, these guys you know are unique characters and are going to have some kind of interaction with you because of their design. And when they do have a, you know, their own scene. And unique Pokeballs. All the generic trainers that you fight throughout the, uh, the regions all have the same, just it's a Pokeball. The only time it'll happen where they'll have, or where a, a non generic trainer will have a, just a Pokeball is if it sort of fits their character. Like, for example, when you fight a trainer, uh, like a rival, like one of these guys, or if you fight, yeah, basically just that. Otherwise, generally speaking, They do have some unique ones. Oh boy, am I getting tired? Which is not a good sign. Um, which means I'm probably not going to finish this DLC tonight. I didn't think I was going to because it's a it's a main game. I'm probably going to have to record. Um, tomorrow night or Friday and um, basically the next time I can record well I'll have tomorrow too I might actually do some tomorrow as well but a bit later in the night Definitely am getting a little tired. I did this a bit later, and the reason I was doing it later is because I was waiting for people to go to sleep, so I didn't have people coming in and out of my room all day. I probably should have started this around seven, and then I could probably have gotten the whole DLC done at this point. But it's whatever. That's a battle again. Oh crap, do I have that lame haircut? Oh, I do. And the thing is, I can, don't know how to get rid of that freaking haircut unless you... I think you gotta go to a hair salon or something. Suck ass. Oh, my rebel back home. Frick, she's gonna be jealous. I found another rival. That's another thing I noticed that in later Pokemon games, you started getting more than just one rival. Um, in Gen 1, you only had one, which was Gary, or Blue, whichever one you want to call him. Um, in Gen 2, you just had one rival, which was Silver. Not Silver, I forget. Is it Silver? Yeah, I think it was Silver. I remember. Uh, Gen 3, you only had one rival, which was May, or whatever his name was, the, the, the male character. And then in Gen 4, that's when they added two rivals. Not entirely, but they sort of did. I'm literally. I'm literally. Gen 5, you have multiple rivals. 
So Gen 6 and Gen 7. Gen 8 did 2, and of course Gen 9 is indifferent. A little different? Well, that was not the case. Um, in Scarlet and Violet, you technically have your main violin. This is the chick with the green in her hair. And you have that one dude that follows you around. He's not really a violin, but I guess he's considered one. Eh. And you have that one uh, toothpaste head girl. That's from the corner. I don't. <laughs> He's got Colgate hair. It belongs in Fire Emblem, the new Fire Emblem game. But anyway, um, she's um, I guess technically a rival too. And then through the DLC, you get like two new rivals. You get this chick and the girl behind, or the, the girl. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the guy behind them. Get behind her and get those rivals really. In Gen 9 or Gen 8, you do you get Hop, which is the brother of the champion. Then you get what's his name, that weird trench coat I look like I'm about to do um, all the other kids with the pumped up kicks in real in real time. Um, that is a rival as well. And then you have um, I think you have a third character. Yeah, you have that ch the goth one. Um, who's a rival? I mean, that's a dark electric. And then after that, I don't let you know, Joe. Then after that, you have what's it called? Um, Gen Eight or Gen Seven? What? Yeah, Gen 8, I, I don't remember that, or Gen 7, I don't remember too well. All I know is that you had a rival, so every game has a, a rival. I don't know what that is, so I'm swapping out anyway. Bring out the friggin' script names here. It's based on the dance, I just don't know what it is. It's like a party drum, I think it is. Oh, frick, that's right, it's a rest. Shoo. Oh, yeah, friggin' flying with whatever. The grass bone. This is the grass type. Three corner off here. Nice. Oh, look, Carmine's in a. Wow, that's her. That's her freaking thing. 
I'm stupid. Forgive me for not paying attention. <laughs> Alright, it's a ghost type. I'm fast. Oh, there we go. I think it's a ghost type. Um, shut up all. Oh, I'm fast. Nice, it is. But she's got the more Pokemon. Yeah, she's got Mighty Hero, which is a dark type. Which is weak to fighting moves. Dark's weak to fighting and... I think Fairy, but I could be wrong. I know it's good for fighting, that's for sure. I don't get that, but it is. Uh, I'll put a build on it. I gotta finish this and then save. I didn't get a lot of recording done, but I got a decent amount, I guess. Good enough to go up for next week. I was hoping that probably Playtime Chapter 3 will be released this month, so I figured I'm gonna play that in the after part. Six. Or five, technically. But yeah, I wanted to play that, but it was supposed to release last month, so it got delayed. I don't know if that's a good thing, if it did, because it means that it's not being rushed, hopefully. Um, I do actually enjoy playing Playtime. Surprisingly, it's not a bad game, it's actually pretty good. Some people don't like the practices of the company, or the creators, the developers. Which is understandable, but the game actually is pretty good, uh, despite some other things about it. Uh, but during the Bam Bam, the, uh, the practices are wrong, so it makes it bad. But the game itself can be bad. But I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm gonna say that I used to be on the part of the Bam Bam A train, and I was stupid, wasting money, dumb. So I played the first one for free, because I was like, oh shoot, the first episode. Chapter is free. Might as well try. Did it wasn't terrible. It's enough for me to get the second game to see what going on. Did that. Played it. Oh, kind of fun. Kind of fun, but not exactly. It was kind of like you know, but enough for me to get to the third one. Did started liking it a bit more. I don't like the game. It's uh, now. I started liking it. I mean, I kind of just started getting like I want to see the story to completion now that I'm this I'm like three games in now so I have, might as well get the one next two and try to figure out everything and uh, I think we get with the sixth game even though I probably shouldn't I'll just watch someone else play and get the story from their perspective but that's the problem I have had going with the plot now. This channel gives them to me so much to get. So many game theories. It's just gonna be a bit different from that one. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not saying that I didn't watch the uh, I didn't watch the movies with people. I'm just saying that I may not. Not because I don't like them, but it's a different face. It's a different face. And to be fair, it's kind of like when a good example for change, and I just didn't like it. Um, a good example would be when character voices change. Like Shaolin Showdown, the, the next of the series, but it was Shaolin Chronicles. Um, I tried to watch it. I watched the first episode for like maybe 10 minutes and I just could not get past it. It was not the, the, because of the voice acting. I could get over the art style change. I could get over the fact that Shengang Wu were completely renamed with copyright issues, but I cannot get over the voice changes. I couldn't. The voice changes besides 
Omi, who was the only one that kept the same voice system. Again, this was a money issue, so it wasn't the developer's fault. It was mostly the per it was the producer, the people working on it. It was mostly an issue from the company who just couldn't shut, didn't want to shell out the money to get all the original voice actors back, which, to be honest, kind of sucked, but whatever. That's it. I'll move back to this later.